Lewis, protocol Epsilon. <laughs> Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. Cell's engineer. Virgil. Virgil only. It's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh. Uh, sir, your gauntlet is a thing of beauty. Only a genius could... I need that fixed. Yesterday. I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel, sir. I mean... How are we doing? Arrow needs a scapegoat. He won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll hear more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly <clears throat> fuck to get some coffee around here? What a day. See you in the briefing room. Owe you everything, Doctor. Need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Mr. Rentier, Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. It's hard to see a father like this. We go way back. Real time. We ain't great to see my ass from a Wisconsin bench. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make sure to repay that debt. Mr. Harrow is waiting for you in the briefing room, sir. Yeah, yeah, I heard that already. He is the heir to the fucking crowd. Well, according to the protocols, if the director is unable to fulfill his duties, his next of kin takes. And DC agreed to that. When I got your goddamn gilded invitation. I expected champagne and canapes. Instead, some fang fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies. Now the entire country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot. So again, 
Could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trapping, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible. Before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. We ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sanguisuge Best. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. Mangled, mutilated, and ripped apart. Bloom, what did you walk into? More money.
This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. Let's check this beauty out. Careful. Find another way. Hope I'll find some trace of Bloom.
This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here? Oh, that's tight. That's mine. Gotta squeeze through. Too far to jump. I'll take that. Taking it. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, 
I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is quite powerful. Be that thing Bloom was looking for. To hold those doors.
find the flying creatures most disturbing. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed Sangrasujas like hornets guarding their hive. It's not clear if that's their only purpose. Perhaps they also gather sustenance and function as scouts. Where the heck did it go? Yeah, looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. That's tight. Ugh, what a stench.
Anyone there? <sighs> Bloom? Is that you down there? Uh, yes, it's it's me, but who are <sighs> Whoa. You're Jesse Rinier, sir. Splendiferous. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, oh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail, securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from the Callum sawmill. Uh, we need to check that place out. <laughs>